another classic from Bali. They say Marco balls are the best. We buy hundreds of pin. Listen, no comments from the peanut gallery. Frank? We started messing with him first. Anyway, it's hard to believe they made over 4,800 of these digital blackjacks, only 120 electromechanical versions, and this is our eighth one past through TNT. Just not many of them. Now, the nice thing about this is that you can get new parts for it. That's Steve Young of Pinball Resource does make and press these brand new pop-up attacks. He actually produces these new, which is really nice. Uh, this particular game was in terrific shape to start. The original plastics were all pretty much perfect. And to make sure they never break again, if you look carefully, you can see we have these uh, protectors around all the plastics. We get them from ICE in New York. They're the lock washers for the Super checks, men on the bubble hockey to keep the men from falling out. But boy, we found that terrific for this. Made out of Lexan. They're only a quarter each, either. No discount, even if you buy a quantity. It's a flat quarter apiece. We think it's money well spent. All new rubbers, we have all new posts wherever they shattered. Uh, we're also using high intensity LEDs now on the play field. We have regulars here in the back. Stephen has had to do very little touch-up on our backlights. These are regular intensity back here, and they've been color matched depending on what's on the play field. We're using regular light bulbs in the play field to light underneath the play field. We've uh, rebuilt the electronics with a bunch of new parts, obviously. We had quite a few transistors, lamp transistors blown up as is sockets on the playfield. Due to the age of the machine, if you think about this, this game is, what is it, 36 years old now? 36, 36. High voltage has been rebuilt with some new parts, a resistor, filter cap, of course we float solder. Lithium battery with quick connects so the customer, oh, that's gonna keep opening and closing. and change them out real easy. Then the, oop, did you see that? See, I, I made a moss jump. See, people say if I keep using that same stupid gag, I bait you jump. Anyway, look, right here, we put in a new knocker coil. It's funny, half the machines that come in here, of all brands, the knocker coil is missing. They borrowed it to fix another coil in the game, or it fried. But the whole thing was missing. We have so many junk games, we were able to put it in. Uh, Frank, who's working the camera, rebuilt the power supply with new bridges. Uh, Steve Young sells the big bridges. You have to drill the holes out a little bit, but they're more heavy duty than the original ones. So we, we suspect that they will, what Frank? Never go bad again. Not in my lifetime. Frank, how long do you think that's going to be? Two weeks. Oh. Done. I want you to see what a remarkable job Stephen did on this. Now, I got a great idea. We'll just do a quickie right now. Look at that. Look at the play field. And now we're going to go away right now and see what it looked like when we started. Stephen has had to repaint all three colors here, as you can see. But it sure looks terrific. The red is done here, but he's working on it up here. It needs a little more touch-up, as you can see. Playfield has been stripped, but it has not been painted yet. So that's going to be a chore. We've already cleaned the inside here and put the LEDs, but their work is still to be done. Even though it looks like it's finished, there's still some spots he has to finish touching up on the red. The blue and white's been redone. 
But you can obviously see we still have all this to do, the switches. There's a ton of work left to be done. But it's coming along good, Stephen. Oh, it's coming along nice. The plastics are glowing. There is the Miracle Man right there. Not me. Well, you and Tony. Tony gets all the credit. You gotta admit, it didn't look like that when we started, did it? Did you think that was hopeless? I think 90% of the games that come in here are hopeless. <laughs> Look at poor Popeye. Oh my goodness. You should look at it because that's what you're going to see too. These games take remarkable transformations here at TNC. They really do. Look at this now. Look at this. You just wouldn't believe it was the same piece of equipment. Another game for the customer to cherish. You know, this game had some really neat features. It was the first game, actually the only game, to do a really neat use of the chime coils, which you're going to hear. Yes, it still plays the same tune that, um, see when you hit the uh, credit button, you put a quarter in, that power play, strikes and spares, uh, Matter Harry did. Uh, so that part is the same. Now watch what happens when you start it. Normally when you hit the start button, it plays the tune. But now watch what happens here. See, it's random. You don't know where it's going to start. So right now we start with 17 player and the dealer is 21. So right now the dealer will win when our ball uh, goes in that hole. That, that's the hole that collects your, your bonus. Now, let's start at the top here with the ball. So we got a little, little piece of something there, Frank. Probably the fans are running. You know, it's gotten hot again. Remember how cold it was on all the older videos? Now it's getting hot. Anyway, the roll throughs, look, they're all tied in to these pop bumpers. This one here will light this pop bumper and give us 500 points and advance our bonus. Okay, so we went up here, okay? So we moved up a bit. Now this one here does not turn on that. You can only turn that one on when you get both. So when you get both of those, you turn on and then this one turns on that. Now look, if my ball goes into the hole, now listen to what the chime coils do. It's so neat, listen. My flashes, boom, I'm on my way. Isn't that sharp? I thought it was quite a neat feature for a game pre-power play, or actually pre-strikes and spares, and some maybe old other games. Very, very clever use of it. Now, my dealer is up to 20, so I'll win again. But remember, you these things change. See? I'm climbing up my bonus. That changes the dealer. So you can shoot yourself in the foot while you're playing this if you're not careful. Obviously, you'd want to hit the dealer hand to get him back low and then go into that hole. Let's do a quick playthrough, I guess. Oh, you know what? I don't think we stopped. That does your advance when it hits. Each time it passes this point, it advances your bonus. Okay? See, 10,000. A lot of people don't understand. 10 and 1 means I'm going to get 11,000 when I go down the hole. There might be some people that never knew that. Right? Now, there are dip switches for you to change the settings on the board so you can make the game harder or easier. In, in particular, the, the roll throughs at the top. Actually, the game is really off the culture. We don't have this on legs. Everybody says, you should put it on legs, you put it on legs. But you know, see, I'm not, I'm not balanced up there. So normally that would roll through there at the top. Um, there we go. Didn't win, didn't win. So I get points, but I don't win. I like the feature that you can either roll through here, you shoot this hard enough, you can actually go over the hole. It doesn't happen often. But. Nice, huh? Look at how colorful the back lace is. I wonder if this pink would glow in the dark. Side. What do you think? I don't know. Anyway, we're delivering this game tomorrow to our customer. 
uh, as with all TNT amusements machines that we sell, he has a 30-day window to switch it. He's watching this video now. So if he doesn't like the game, he can switch it out and get something else. It rarely happens. I think, what would our ratio? About one out of every 30 machines, somebody takes us up on a trade. If, if that, well, it, like, I'll give you an example. A man is trading in a gold wings. You saw a video not too long ago. He's trading it back and he's getting a close encounter of the third kind. I think that's like two steps back, but that's what he wants. And then if there's a difference in price, in this case he's going to get money back, he gets money back and he pays another delivery charge. Where can you do that? Get 30 days to make sure you like the game, if not full credit back. Then we always have our lifetime half back. Did you just say something to me? Are you talking to me, Talking about you, not to you. Try not to do that. You notice he's on the floor where he belongs. Don't take much to get up to appearance. Uh, look, look what he's doing. Isn't this something? Yeah, so stop fucking with him. Look, brand new overlay. What a terrific looking game. We are going to do the tea molding as soon as he's finished. New tea molding that we're shipping this baby out. That's nice. So you normally tell guys, just do it while he's painting. Bong, 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 bong. I can't think of what to say. <laughs> I don't know whether he's in a good position to give him to lamb blast him right now or what. Go for it. That's one tough, small package. You don't want to mess with my Steven. If you want to see small, just look down there. <laughs> when I said small, I was speaking of physical size. Exactly, look down. I actually probably haven't seen it in years. The, the only thing I haven't seen in years are my what? toes. I can't see them from here. <laughs> anyway. Blackjack, ready to go. Our eighth one, as I mentioned, and I think our customer is going to be thrilled. Keep watching. We got Demo Man coming. We got Virtual Racing, that Defender is coming. Uh, the other NBA Jam. Oh, Slugfest. And Spy Hunter. The Spy Hunter is actually going to get finished this week. I know you've been watching it. Everybody says, when's the Spy Hunter going to get done? It's coming. Good night. Good night. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here!